So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. <laughs> What's up, people? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Today, we're checking out this video that this girl uploaded on TikTok about how her first date went. Now, a lot of people are saying in the comments that she's a gold digger and she handled this completely wrong. She was wrong for even posting the video, uh, but I haven't seen it yet, so let's watch. Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Branzino. And he said, I'm gonna take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. I'm over there and I'm like, what the actual f I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. <laughs> Okay, so starting off with the <laughs> First of all, we just gotta acknowledge what's uh, obvious here. The dude that was on a date with this girl dodged a bullet. A whole 50 cal bullet. Walking out on somebody on a date and then blocking them because they refused to pay $3 extra for cheese has gotta be some of the dumbest shit I've heard this year. Let's start from the very beginning, okay? Everything's going fine. They're on their first date. And then the server asks if he wants cheese on his burger or something like that. And it's an extra $3, which is a scam. It's a ripoff. It's what restaurants do when they just want to make extra money on you. They charge for extra things on your meal and they usually overprice them. There is nothing you can say to convince me to pay $3 for a slice of cheese. It's not happening. Why would you pay that? You can pay $2 for a whole pack of cheese at Walmart. And this restaurant's out here selling it for $3 a slice? God damn, you'd catch me at the bottom of a river, dead, before you catch me paying $3 for a slice of cheese. It just doesn't make any logical sense. The guy was smart for not paying this, and to be honest, not even smart, he just knows how to manage his money properly. You, you, I think we can all agree that paying $3 for a slice of cheese is so careless. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, it was only $3, it makes him look cheap. Nah, if you get in the habit of paying for things that aren't worth it, which it seems like this girl does, then it's eventually gonna add up. And if you're smart with your money and you know how to manage it and you know how to spend it wisely, I can assure you that you're gonna end up doing way better than those who don't know how to manage their money properly. It's just, it's just common sense. And the irony of this girl looking at this dude not wanting to pay $3 for a slice of cheese as if it's some sort of red flag, that's crazy. He actually knows how to spend his money properly, and if anything, it's a green flag. It shows that y'all could have had a pretty good financial future ahead of you if you hadn't freaked out about him not wanting to pay $3 for a slice of cheese. But it's okay, you know, there's some stupid people in this world, and we just have to uh, accept that. It's also funny how she tries to justify a restaurant selling $3 for a slice of cheese by saying, it's New York City, what do you expect? And he's like, oh my god, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah. It's New York City. Yeah, it's also retarded. I don't care if I'm in LA, New York City. I'm not paying $3 for a slice of cheese anywhere, okay? It's not happening. You'd catch me dead before I do it. And the audacity that this girl has to finish this video off with, I told him I got the check taken care of. You should have paid for the cheese. As if he was missing out on the girl he's wanted his entire life. I don't think he was looking for a girl like you. He was just linking up with a girl on Hinge for a date. You happened to show your true colors very early. And he dodged a bullet. I mean, listen, fellas, at the end of the day, homeboy got a free meal and he's being talked about on social media right now. So, I mean, hey, there's girls that probably would see that and then go straight to his DMs to try to link up for a date. So, I mean, at the end of the day, her intention was to make him look stupid, but she only made herself look stupid while helping him out in the process. That is most definitely a dub in my book. But ladies and gentlemen, it is not stopped there. Homeboy actually found the video and decided to respond. And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, 
Okay, then never mind. To be fair, I had the intention of paying $21 for this burger, so adding $3 for cheese was not fucking worth it. But thank you for paying for dinner. Bye bye, ta ta. You love to see it. But ladies and gentlemen, just as you thought it was over, no, it keeps going, it gets longer. Just like this thing in my pants. This girl decided to make a response video now to the guy and the comments she was getting. Do you think I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy. But you are taking it to a different level. You really need to take it easy. Some people going through all of my videos commenting that I'm ugly, that I'm a four, that I'm a two, that I don't deserve love, I should die alone, I should delete myself, I should kill myself. That's not okay in any way. Why are you taking this stupid video so seriously? I'm having a laugh about it. The guy is having a laugh about it. We're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date. Like he, he's, he's, he laughed about it. He's a psycho like me and we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be okay. And you're going laughing about my TV? Yeah, I know that I'm broke. I'm a fucking student. I'm an unpaid intern. I'm broke. My rent is half of my paycheck. I'm literally... I'm broke. And yeah, I have a huge credit debt. And that's... Yeah. And I'm fun about it. I'm broke and it's gonna be okay. And I make really bad financial decisions. But when I go out on a date or to a restaurant with a friend. I'm not gonna bitch about money. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna deal with the money later. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's expensive. When you go into a wine bar and they sell a glass of wine for $15, are you gonna bitch and be like, uh, yeah, I can buy a whole bottle of wine for $15. When you go to a restaurant, you pay extra. You're not gonna pay like you pay in a supermarket. All of you guys going through all of my videos, all of my Instagram photos, commenting me these mean comments, I hope that it makes you happy and I hope you're gonna find something else to do today. Yeah, I don't agree with any of the comments she's getting about how she doesn't deserve love and how she needs to die. I feel like everybody deserves love unless you do some crazy, crazy shit, like some unforgivable shit. But going back onto the topic, she says, I don't want to bitch and be the person that says, oh, that's too expensive. To a restaurant with a friend, I'm not going to bitch about money. Which shows that she cares more about how she's perceived by people rather than just being smart and thinking for herself, which says a lot. You're not being a bitch by not paying $3 for a slice of cheese. You're just a logical human being being that knows how to spend money wisely. It's almost disrespectful to be told that a slice of cheese is $3 wherever you're eating. I'd walk the fuck out. And she even mentions alcohol prices in bars. There's been plenty of times I've walked out of bars because prices were too high. It's just not worth it. She also talks about how broke she is and how she's an unpaid intern and a student. Maybe, you know, your financial situation would be a little better if you didn't pay $3 for a slice of cheese. I don't know, just a suggestion. I swear to God, the jokes write themselves sometimes. Not trying to dictate here. You can make your own decisions, but uh, I don't know, it might be worth your while. I know saving money isn't really a, a popular concept in your mind, but <laughs> maybe it should be. Also, did y'all catch the second date part? She said that they're gonna go on a second date, but last time I checked, you can't text somebody who's blocked. And you said he was blocked in the first video, so I'm not sure which one it is. Something's not making sense here. I failed math in high school, but the equation is not equating. You would think after all this TikTok drama, after the response from the dude, after a follow-up video that she made, she would just drop it, right? She would realize that she took the L. She triple and quadruples down on what she believes in, and that's to uh, be stupid, I guess? Really no telling. Hey, what can I get for you? Um, I'll take the burger. Would you like it with cheese, no cheese? Um, I'll take it medium with extra cheese. I want more cheese than what you usually get. Extra I want cheese? the cheese and more cheese. I want $12 cheese. $12 cheese. Yeah, okay. is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. I pray to God that she didn't actually get this. So this was her attempt in being funny, but it really was just a demonstration to everybody showing how stupid she actually is. And I hate to be the person that just says, oh, this person's stupid, this person's stupid. But it just is. It's funny because her motive on this video was, I'm going to try to make people look stupid. I'm going to try to make people look broke. You only made the dude that went on a date with you look smarter. And you also proved the people criticizing you right, so... I don't know, it's just L after L with this girl, I guess. You know what's funny? The guy doesn't even have Instagram, he's not on social media. Holy shit, she's still talking about him, huh? Okay, let's restart. You know what's funny? 
the guy doesn't even have Instagram. He's not on social media. He doesn't have TikTok. He's not on Reddit. Reddit? And he doesn't even know about this stupid story. And there are a bunch of weirdos going on and saying that they're the guy posting videos about this. So whoever you see posting, saying he's the guy, he got a free burger, cheese, whatever, he's lying. The, the real guy doesn't have social media. Um, yeah. Have a good night. I swear to God, she must be Joe Biden with how much she's switching the narrative in this situation. It's crazy. So, she says he has no social media, but he uses dating apps? I'm not saying you have to have a social media to have a dating app, but more often than not, people who are on dating apps typically have social media. I'm only left to assume that she made this video out of embarrassment because she saw a lot of people saw the dude's video on the situation. And she's just embarrassed. But at the same time, she's letting the whole world know about how much she cares about this entire situation and how she can't let it go. I'd honestly recommend therapy. Um, might work for you. And you would think after she quadruples down on this, she'd be done. She'd stop talking about it. But she quintuples down. I didn't think I'd ever be saying those two words, but here we are. Ladies of New York, I would love for you to help me out on this one. But please, only if you're a New York woman in your 20s and your 30s, and you're single and you're actively dating. If you're going to be sitting in a restaurant on a first date with a guy, and he wants to, to get something, something extra on his meal, and he realizes that, it, that it's um, going to be $1 to $5 extra, are you going to say no? Are you really going to think that he's so smart and so financially responsible and that's a green flag, and that's amazing? <laughs> Damn, she's losing it, chat. She is spiraling out of control like a fucking crash landing. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Quite frankly, we'll never be that serious. Never. I agree. Um, you were the one that decided to post it and talk about it in five different videos and yeah, I mean, here we are. Believe it or not, the news actually does cover viral situations. I don't know why this is a surprise. As I said earlier, the guy took a dub, and the girl is dumb for what she did, and also quintupling down, defending what she did. I pray to God that no dude out there watching this ever comes across a girl like this. And if you do, just play, play accordingly. Play smart. Do not wife. I repeat. Do not wife. And yeah, y'all should be good. So if you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be reacting and streaming more on my Twitch. So go check that out. I got on the screen for you right now. We're lit over there. And yeah, if you guys want to see more content, I got on the screen for you right now. Y'all have a great rest of your day. See you.